Get the fuck out of my jank ass motherfucker. I don't even know. Hello everyone, I am Rob Boss. My cardboard palette smells very strange. I sold my palette to pay for my BDSM. I mean, um, I sold it to charity. So, see I'm working with cardboard now. I don't know what we'll be painting, but follow along and we'll have some fun. Let's change everything. Holy shit. I mean, I've been thinking about landscapes lately. The beauty of them. The beauty of nature. Ugh. This already looks awful. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. But I like the way it's flowing so far. The, the brush strokes, they're meaningful. I'm gonna go wild. Hope it's all right if I do a little wet on wet technique with this. Just like my good friend. Wet on wet. Ah! I'm too dumb to even put this on. Put the cap on. I just don't want to make a freaking mess. What's going on with this? I think it's important to add other colors into things. I didn't really get a chance to warm up today, you know, doing my exercises. I don't even know what's happening here, TBH. TBH. You see the swirliness there? It's got some Van Gogh going on here, you know? Like, I honestly could be him. Like, I could be the next him. Just saying. Except Van Gogh had some major issues and I have none, so. Totally clean, as my doctor told me. But that's my medical marijuana doctor, so who knows? He pretty much will say anything. Dang it, can't get the cap on. This is what happens when I don't take my Ativan. Orange. Orange, you glad I didn't say? Banana. Probably should have done a little lighter color, but say la vie. And I'll answer myself with that one. La vie. Get it? It's not really a quite anything so wonderful yet but i mean that's what like life is like you know you gotta throw shit at your painting oh excuse me children in the audience i like to keep this show pretty family friendly so i apologize for the language probably a lot more i should be apologizing for but that's for my priest to say <sighs> reminds me of my mother she loved the color orange it's probably because she would go to the tanning booth all the time though I don't know if she really was at the tanning booth or just cheating on my dad. There's all the tragic backstory, and you see, that's tragic right there. But we saved it like I was saved. What does that look like to you guys so far? You know what it looks to me so far? It looks like a dinosaur, a stegosaurus. Isn't this what it's about? Fun. F-U-N. Man, this totally looks like one of my best works so far. Yeah. Now it looks like a fire. My house caught on fire once. Well, it's always on fire when I'm in there, but you know. That's for you special people. Ah! It's like I dropped my pills everywhere. I guess I'm going a little too hardcore here, man. Little hairs in here. Reminds me of my shower drain. It's not easy maintaining this hairstyle. I don't even know what the hell's going on on this painting. We're having fun, all right? We're having fun, right? See, this painting keeps me very relaxed, you know? I'm almost a little too relaxed sometimes. You know? I just kind of feel like passing out, you know? Mm, damn it, I feel like I need more yellow. Oh, I said the D word, damn it. That's not nice. It's just like a... A weird supernova. I learned that word when I took my GED test. You know, I really wasn't supposed to be here today. I mean, yeah, I just wandered into this room and like no one was in here. So I just sat down and decided to display my talents to the world. Once again, the cap won't go on. Who bought these? He's for babies. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm liking this. Whoa, I don't even know what's happening, but something is. Oh yeah. This looks like something I made in Photoshop once with the gradation thing. All right, how's it looking so far? Looks pretty wild. 
It's like one of my trips, you know? And I don't mean a trip to Spain. You're never done as far as your imagination can take you. That's for little Emily, three years old. She wrote me a fan letter. Well, maybe I just found it. Jeez, I almost forgot where I was for a second. Happens to the best of us. I wish I could go to London. But I don't know, they took my passport from me, so. No London for me. Da. Not quite done. This looks like shit. Oh, excuse my language. Let's go bold with black. Need a little smaller detail paintbrush. Now what the heck is this? There's like something on my shirt. Okay. Thought it was vomit or something. I don't know when I ever vomited, but it could be there. Gonna get that tiny brush out. Something, oh, this one should be good. Looks like a makeup brush. Not that I wear makeup, but. What the heck, this brush is hard as a rock. Just so you can follow along, my skill level is high above this, but we're gonna do the classic bird in the sky. Ah, uh, tiny bird. Oh. Yes. I don't know what that is, it's a snake, but yeah! Well, we got some stuff going on here. Got the birds flying away from the flames. Like they're coming from the distance. They're all fleeing. Fleeing the horror of the flames. We have a flock of birds. It's like the flock of seagulls. Reminds me of Venice Beach. There's so many marijuana clinics there, but that's not where I go. I can give you guys some recommendations down below. I'm feeling a tower going here tower building somewhere. Look at that so far. It's kind of menacing. Jesus Christ. It's scary. Oh, we'll make it, we'll put some bushes in front of it, you know, kind of like put some bushes in front of it. Wait, it looks a little less scary and more like something I enjoy. Looking good. You know what they say, the taller the better. I'd like to live in a house. I live in a box, so Exactly the house I live in, right there next to the towers. Ooh, a fish. Sometimes I go into the bay area, you know, and I just catch a fish and I eat it raw. Sometimes that's the only dinner we can get out here. Guess I could go to the market, do have a couple bucks. There's a fish thing. This is, I'm gonna teach you guys a new technique to do baby fish. So you just get your paint on your paintbrush, you just go pop, and then you go, Boop at the bottom and it makes a tail. See, you're actually learning today. You're learning about your feelings. You're learning about my life. I'm learning some things about myself, I think, even doing this. I'm learning that uh, this tower is pretty exciting. We're almost done. Ah, there's something in my eye. Guess it's my feelings. The fish are bringing up a lot of memories. The most important thing and the coolest thing you can do as an artist, sign your name. My name is Rob Boss. Don't sign Rob Boss. That's my name and it's trademarked. So I'm gonna sign it really big cause I'm big. But here we go. One signature. Rob. Oh man, I hope I spell my name right. Boss. That always adds a touch of class. Ooh, I know. A squiggly. There we have it! A completed Rob Boss original. I will be auctioning this off at uh, recently at my next auction, which will be on Skid Row in a couple hours. Uh, I don't have many paintings you can do, uh, you can buy. I have this. I have like a handprint on like a paper bag, like a grease handprint, you know, when you eat the burger that's left over. And I think I have something else, but I'm not sure. It might be a nude, some sort of nude. Oh, myself, of course. Please uh, head over there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be on the street. Uh, we'll see you around. Let's change everything. That's my new catchphrase I think I'll go with. Rob Boss signing off and...